What's up, awesome people? My name is Diara Mulele, and I'm coming here with some exciting news. This is something that I'm particularly excited for because I'm going to use my recordings to actually study for my exam or prepare for my exam. So I'm actually going to record a series of videos where I go through my notes that are covering a Microsoft certification. So basically, Microsoft certifications actually uh, have Microsoft as your as a bunch of certifications for different users. So it could be an administrator, developer, DevOps engineer, data scientist, data engineer, network engineer, uh, solution architect, and all of that. So they have a bunch of certificates that you can go through that are based on their uh, what you call Microsoft products. So for me, because I am a developer, I am choosing to do this particular course and I'm gonna record content for it. So this is the AZ204. Uh, certificate uh, that I'm going to, uh, well, that I'm going to write an exam for. So cool. When you look at that, it basically tells you a bunch of basic information and all of that. But what gets interesting is if you look at all my planning pad, they are currently sitting on uh, plate, which makes me particularly happy. So in this particular path, what what then happens is if I go into one of the paths. You have a bunch of modules that you need to go through that covers different content here and there, well related to the path, but different content. So say, for example, for this particular path, you have explore uh, Azure App Services, configure web app settings, scale app in Azure App Services, explore Azure App Service deployment slots. Cool. So all of those modules would typically have a similar structure and internally to that, you'd be able to see that different content that goes into this particular modules. Julio, I think I'm excited about this. This is the first path that, uh, well, this is the first certification where I complete all the paths using uh, what you call Microsoft Learn uh, website. And what I particularly like about this is their gamification that they have with the levels. Apparently the levels are limitless, but as you do modules and all of that, it gives you points that you need to achieve to hit the next level. Cool. Then what I did from this website or why I'm recording this thing is because from this, I extracted a bunch of notes. So on my, all my notes, if they look plagiarized or they have some uh, images or content that comes from this website, please do not sue me or anything. I didn't uh, do that to actually plagiarize the work, but I actually did that for myself to learn and I'm recording these videos to learn as well. Someone finds this video is very useful, then it's their benefit. I hope Microsoft will not come knocking on my door. Julio. So what I did there, well, this is my notes now. When you look at my notes, the first thing that I have is skills measured. So here you see the, what you call different bunch of skills that needs to be covered. So say, for example, uh, develop Azure Compute uh, Solutions, we have 25 to 30% of the exam being set uh, on this topic. Then we have 15 to 20 set on Azure storage. Then we have 20 to 25 set on Azure security. Then we have 15 to 20 set up on monitoring, troubleshoot, and optimize uh, Azure solutions. Then we have uh, 15 to 20 percent uh, set up on connect to and consume Azure services and third party uh, services. So if you look at that, this part is me basically outlining most of the things that go into that. So under that, say for example, we have implement uh, API management, we have develop event-based solutions using event grid, event hub, develop message-based solutions using a service bus, queue storage, uh, queues uh, type of setup. Then for monitoring, troubleshoot and optimization, we have Redis cache, sec uh, secure and optimized application. There's a module there. We have App Insight, Azure Monitor as a suit. Uh, App Insights, Web Test and Alerts, uh, cool. Then in here, in security, we have things like a key vault, manage the identity, Microsoft Graph, Azure Active Directory, Chat Access Signature, Microsoft Identity Platform. And under storage, we have developed solutions that use Cosmos DB Storage, uh, API and SDK, partitioning schemas and keys, Think that is related to Cosmos DB. Then we have developed solutions that use blob storage. So 
We'll be talking about storage account containers, metadata storage policies, archiving and retention policies there. Then under compute, we have VMs, we have um, Azure Resource Management Template, containers, container registry. Then we have web apps, logging, deploying, configuring and auto-scaling those web apps. Then we have uh, Azure functions, so functions, bindings, triggers, custom handlers, and durable functions. So something here that I'm noticing is I don't have logic apps. I'm not sure if they are covered in, in this particular course or they were taken out. I'm not 100% sure, but cool. So if you look at the table of content here, it has a bunch of topics, a bunch of information, particularly if you look at this, say, for example, that's the path itself. So this resonates or looks similar to the title that you'd have on an Azure path. So cool. Why or how did I create this particular part? So this particular part here, it was not my invention or anything like that. I'm not that smart. So what I did was I went through the Microsoft website. They have this link here where you can download certification outline, uh, uh, skills outline. And this is typically where they would put information about changes to the certification upgrades and all of that. So those information goes in there. So coolio. So excited about this guys. So cool. When you come here, then you have uh, my notes that we'll be going through that says beginning of the, of the long journey. So it was, it was rough. They working while studying as well. It's not the easiest of things. But uh, I hope we'll, we'll eventually pass and, you know, upskill together. So I'll be reading my notes. You guys will be taking notes and all of that. Please, let's start the beginning.